Hello YouTube, this is Russian Toys here, and today's video is going to be about how to clean your fish tank. You should clean your fish tank about once a month, uh, once a month, once a week, because after a week, it starts to get kind of dirty and mucky, like in the corners. The algae on the ground isn't really bad, and it's actually beneficial, but it doesn't look nice. And then there's algae on the plants and everything, so really, you want to clean your fish tank about once a month. Now before you start cleaning it, you should get ready, you should prep your area, so put a towel down in front of your fish tank like that, and just get ready to clean it. The next thing you should do is remove every item in the tank. So I'm going to do this right now and I'll be Once right you back. removed every item from your fish tank, it's time to get your fish out of the water with the betta fish. At least I do this because it makes it way easier to clean the tank. So just take a container, put some water from the fish tank in it so it has the same temperature. So the fish doesn't go under too much stress because it's already stressful enough to put them into a new container. Fill it with a bit of water. Get a fishnet. And try getting your fish out of the water with it. Now this might take, take a bit. So I'll be right back once I get the fish. Once you put your fish in your container, just put that container to the side. You won't need that fish for a bit. Just let him sit there, he's fine. Now if you have live plants in your aquarium, like I do, the next step is removing the algae from the plant. And this step takes very long because you need to remove every little bit of algae that's on the plant with your fingers. So what I do, I fill this bowl with water and then just go in there with my hand, take the algae, put it in the water bowl, go back into the aquarium, take the algae of each of the plants, put it into the water bowl and so on and so on. So I'll be back and show you the results once I'm done. Now once you got all the algae off your plants, this is all the algae I got off my plants. You can't really get every piece of algae off because it's impossible, but this just helps the plants live longer because algae suffocates the plants by sitting on it. So I removed as much algae as I could from the plants. So the next thing you will do, you should do, is Scrub the walls of the aquarium with something like this. The yellow sponge is for soft algae, the rough green stuff for harder algae, and then the little edge up here is for the really hard algae. I just keep I just use the edge because it works really well. So as you can see that wall is very green, so I'm gonna go over that. the sponge as much as I can and then with the edge and then you do that to all four sides and algae will float around which is why you're doing this step next because then you can just let it settle while you clean the aquarium stuff so I'm just going to do all the four sides and I'm going to be now right that back. You, now that you scraped every piece of the wall, you're going to have algae floating around everywhere in your aquarium. So what you're going to do is you're just going to leave it at that. And next is cleaning all the aquarium stuff. This includes your heater, your filter, filter pump, any decorations in the cave that you have, have, like I have a hut, and I have like also have a fake moss ball. So, um, to clean these, the filter, just wash the inside out and get as much down as deep as you can with the sponge. You can't really go deep on this because it's really slim. Filter cartridges, don't do anything to them. They have beneficial bacteria on them, so you don't need to do any of that. Just for the heater, just rinse the heater off underwater. The heater case, same thing. For the pump just rinse it off under water and then on this side over here there's a hole that goes through you can go in there with a 
little brush and clean out the algae on the inside. That's just part of the filter that you can wash off. This is a filter foam, like the sponge area where the um, material comes in. This is going to be clogged with algae and dirt, so you're going to need to wash that out. These um, filter tubes, I guess you can call them, you should also wash out with a little um, brush like this. This is really great for getting into small tubes and cleans out really well. Just do that for every tube you have. For decorations, you just need, really need to scrub it off under water. Really give it a good scrub to get as much algae off as possible. And um, moss ball, just rinse it off under water. Try to get some algae off because algae loves growing on this. So I'm going to do what I just did. Oh, and also, if you want, need to replace a filter cartridge, like I need to, because you see I only have one here, you need two. Go back here, I have my filter cartridges. You need to rinse that cartridge off under water before you can use it too. So get some carbon to get the carbon dust out of it. So I'm going to do that and I'm going to be right back. After you washed everything, you can reassemble your thermometer and the pump and just leave the other two objects. Because now there's no more algae floating around in the aquarium, it is all settled. And if some settled on the plant, just put it in here. But the next step is to siphon off about 20% of the water. Um, more like 30-40% of the water. Don't siphon off too much, because you want some of the old water to remain. So, I'm just gonna remove the algae and then we're gonna go to siphoning next. Okay, so once you let all the algae settle, next thing is you need to si next thing you need to siphon of some of the algae of the ground. So siphon is just this thing with a tube attached to it. You need someone to help you to hold the end of it over a big bucket. So I'm gonna siphon off some of the water and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, now I'm done siphoning. So you'll still have some water left in the aquarium. You should have more than half left, which I do. And what the water looks like that you siphoned off, this is the dirty water. This is the dirty water, and it's full of algae and poop and everything. So now we're just going to empty that out, and I'll be back in a second. Now, after you're done um, throwing the old water, I flushed mine down the toilet. You can put it down the sink, really anywhere. It doesn't matter. Get some new tap water and fill it up to as far as wherever the height of your water that was wasted was before. And, yeah, you can't put this water into the aquarium like this though, you're gonna need to put some some way you're gonna need to get rid of the chlorine. So I use Nutrifin Aqua Plus, like I said in my fish video before. And um it says um to remove chlorine five milliliter. Yeah, I can't read this, but to remove chlorine five milliliters, treats blah blah blah, but to protect scales and fins, ten milliliters. So this is um two point five gallons, so I'm gonna use two point five milliliters because that's the corresponding amount. So let me just open the bottle. Uh, I need to shake it first. Shake well before using. And then you're going to need to get 2.5 milliliters of it. So I'm sorry, this video is just going to tilt for a second. So a bit more it's about four milliliters but then just put it in to your water close close your whatever you use I use it for an aqua plus just close it now you're gonna need to stir it this a bit though so let's use this planter stick Stir the water. And now you're good to put the water back into the aquarium. Because this immediately gets rid of everything. Now, to pour it in, just put in a rock or something. On the corner you're going to put it in. I put in the cave. It works perfectly. So you don't, like, move the gravel. Just put in, the, like, a rock or, for me, the cave. Corner from the aquarium. Pour the water all over it. 
and um, then install all the equipment back into the aquarium. So I'm going to do all of that and then I'm going to be right back. Now you're basically done cleaning your aquarium. All you need to do is add some nutrient cycle to your aquarium and you're good. I added a new filter element right um, today. Like I exchanged one of the filter pads. So I'll need to um, give a double dose. So that would be 5 milliliters for this aquarium. So really that's all you need to do. Put that in, let it cycle through a bit for an hour or so, and then you're done cleaning your aquarium. Then you can put your fish back in. All of this took me about two hours, one and a half hours, two hours to do. So that's what you would expect weekly, once a week, to for a five gallon aquarium to do. Bigger aquariums um, require longer time because they're bigger and there's more scrubbing to do. Okay, this was Russian Torts. Thanks for watching my video. If you liked it, please leave a like. If you have any questions, please um, leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you for watching again, and this is it.